everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Jane and my husband Mike is behind the camera. We're British, early retirees, debt and mortgage free and living a thrifty, frugal and money saving life on a super tight budget here in Brittany in Northwest France. And every Sunday we share an aspect of our personal ways of saving money and this Sunday is a shopping haul and how we save money on food here in Brittany in France. So as a couple, we put our food budget up, our supermarket budget up to 400 euros a month. It was 300 euros a month. It was tight. It was tight. We could have done with it being more. So we put it up to 400 euros a month because on average food prices here have gone up between 30 and 50%. And when I say food, just imagine everything from the supermarket. So that's our supermarket spend, all our food, all our drink, everything we ate, all our cleaning products, all our toiletries, all our bathroom tissue. We have a separate budget on top of that for our pet food. So we came to this point in the month, we basically only needed a few staples, vegetables, a bit of fruit, a packet of butter, that kind of thing. But I still had 174 euros of our food budget left. So what we're trying to do is build up a bit of a, a bit of a stock. I can't say a stockpile. It's not big enough to call it a pile, but a bit of a stock. And this uh, shopping haul today represents our shopping plus building up a few extras because inflation is rampant. Prices are going up all the time and it's just pertinent to have a bit put aside. So in total today, we spent today, everything that you see today was 169.66 in euros, which is 260.38 in Australian dollars, 184.46 in US dollars and 246.81 in Canadian dollars and 150 pounds and two pence, obviously in UK sterling. So if you look at our prices that we share with you, the nearest currency to the Euro is the US dollar. So it's just a few dollars difference between the Euro and the American dollar. So let's get going with our shopping haul. <music> we went to was Lidl and we spent 79 euros 88 which is 86 dollars 82 US 70 pounds 62 UK 116 17 Canadian so 116 dollars and 17 cents Canadian and 122 dollars 56 cents Australian. Let's start with the fresh produce. Pears are a very good price. I paid $2.49 for a kilo and a half. Uh, $1.49 for carrots, kilo and a half. $4.49 for five kilos of potatoes. And they're really big potatoes. Uh, $1.69 for two bunches of broccoli. I paid $2.79 for a kilo of mandarin oranges and I've got $1.49 for a kilo and a half of onions. Then over here, don't worry about this one, I'll take this leaf off. Very big white cabbage, $2.50. My cucumber and my big aubergine, uh, which you call eggplant, were about $1.50 each. So these are some of the things I'm stocking up on. I didn't need them this week, but they were good things to put away. I have a big cleaning spray of Savon de Marseille. Uh, it was 165. This is creeping up all the time. These things are going up all the time. I then, I don't need this, but this is a good thing to stock away. It's never gonna go off. I've got a hundred washes here of laundry detergent for 9.38. This is Lidl's own brand. It is 
awesome. It's really good. I then have 700 grams of corn flour for 151. Huge uh, drinking chocolate, hot chocolate, something we have in the evening before we go to bed. 249. What a shocker these are. A kilo of sugar, 149. This is shot up in price. And then we have a kilo of sugar cubes, 175. And these are actually copy bags. It's not, these are not plastic inside here and they go into our Sensio machine. And that's 396. And that makes ooh, 60 cups of coffee, 60 cups of coffee. So these have gone up, these have gone up in just a couple of weeks. And you may have heard me talking about Lidl's XXL. Those packs are not normally this size. They normally do it cheaper and we buy a bit more. You may have heard me mention Lidl's toiletries and how much I really, really like them. So I do stock up on them and put them away. We've got um, their version of Head and Shoulders. So if you imagine Head and, head and Shoulders shampoo is nearly four euros, their version is 157. So that's two of those. Then this is their version of Dove, of a Dove spray. This has gone up, this was 109, this is now 129, but I put a couple of those away. Then we've got flour, um, we're making uh, bread at the moment, so that's 79 for a kilo bag. This was a bit of an impulse purchase, but it lasts for ages. It's a large jar of pesto for 160. It's stew and soup season, I often put a good spoonful of pesto in stew and soup. Then back here, these are things we're stocking up on. Lidl do not always carry a gluten-free line, but when they do have it, I buy it because it's cheaper. So I bought gluten-free spaghetti, and that's half a kilo for 159. Their fusilli, again, 159, and this, I bought two packs of each. And their gluten-free flour, which is three euros and nine. I've been experimenting with this with bread. It's not good for bread. It's okay, but it's not good for gluten-free bread. Eggs, eggs are a hot topic, aren't they? So Lidl's dozen eggs, and this is a medium-sized eggs. I'll show you the size of them. Medium size, they're medium size eggs, 2.99. They're coming down in price again, so I'm really pleased with that. Dustbin liners, large dustbin liners. These things are just so expensive now. Three euros 19. Uh, Comte, Comte cheese. Uh, very, it's a, it's a hard, mature cheese, similar to cheddar. And then this slipped into the trolley. Got to have a treat every now and then. It's for Mike, and we've got an apple tart, and you can see what little do here is anything with today's date on the need to sell off and he's got that for one euro butter um so this is 500 grams which is one pound of butter and that's four euros 56 um that is holding its price and it's still very expensive supermarket I went to was Leclerc and I spent 82 euros 97 for everything you can see here that's 73 pounds 33 pence $90.20 US $120.67 Canadian and $127 29 Australian. Uh, right, here's the first things I got from Leclerc. I checked out their online prospectus of what was on offer, and you can see here this is what we British people call a belly pork joint. So it's the meat the other side of the ribs. It is a roast, a pork roast joint. And I paid $2.29 a kilo for this. That is an absolute lost leader. Didn't make any money on that. 
and I paid 3 dollars for a big pork roast joint. My next big pork roast joint is a shoulder of pork and I can't see, yeah, it's got the bone in it. So it's, it's still got the bone in it, for the shoulder of pork, and I paid 2 dollars a kilo, 3 dollars There you go. So you can see it's a big family size joint of pork. Then the next thing that was on offer today was um, casserole beef, stew beef, and that was 7 dollars a kilo. And you can see my big pack here is 8 dollars Pretty good price for beef at the moment, and the beef here is absolutely phenomenal. And minced beef at the moment with 20% fat was 10.50 a kilo. British people go, what the, what, at the price of minced beef? If you imagine the French aren't making cottage pie very often, they're not making spaghetti bolognese, they're not making chili con carne, they don't eat that. This is slipping into their diet. So you think that the immigrants like us are turning up and we're eating minced beef. When the French eat minced beef, it's normally minced steak. And they have a, a dish where they eat that minced steak raw. And the name of it has absolutely escaped me because I don't want to eat my meat raw, but it is a delicacy here. But this was on a good price. I've got a load of it there, and that one was 7 35 for that pack. It's always really good to stock up on a few cleaning products when you've got a bit of spare budget. So I bought concentrated fabric conditioner, 75 portions of it in there for 3 59 Look out in the supermarket, because often the, they'll look like the same. There's a blue one, there's a white one, there's a yellow one. The white one was cheaper. I bought the white one. And um, this is a cleaning product that I refill my spray bottles with. And that's 174 for a large bottle of Savon de Marseille. This is something that I'll use for cleaning the bath, the kitchen, the sinks and things with. And that was their own cheap brand. That was 67 cents for cream cleaner. Then washing up liquid. Today, branded washing up liquid was cheaper than generic washing up liquid. So I've got the palm olive washing up liquid there, and that was 137. One of the ways that we uh, eat quite affordably here is we eat seasonally, and obviously winter greens are really cheap, full of vitamins, really, really good for you. So I've got half a kilo of Brussels sprouts for 145. And again, these are expensive here. I should imagine when the British people living here started asking for Brussels sprouts, they started stocking more of them. Then I've got my huge big Savoy cabbage was $2.90. Uh, I've got the cheese, Emmental Moule, $3.89. Cheese is creeping up in price. I've got my Grana Padano, so that's my Italian hard cheese. I look at this for the kilo price and that was, that was the best price. Then I've got gluten, more gluten-free products. This is the gluten-free bread flour. I tried the little gluten-free flour for making bread, not with any great success. So this is 6.39, and it takes about half a pack of that to make myself a gluten-free loaf. Then I have the buckwheat flour, so sarasan flour, and we use that for baking, for baking cookies, baking cakes, and making pancakes. We have the soft cream cheese. This is crept up. This was 65 cents the other day, 93 now. As I said, anything that is made, anything that is processed, anything that goes in a packet, it's all going up, 93 cents each. Then I've got my uh, yeast. I have been using Lidl's own yeast. Not convinced it's the best quality. So I bought a better quality yeast twice the price, but let's see if it's any better. The next thing we've got here, which will see us through till right to the end of the month, is what we British people called UHT, ultra heat treated, long life milk, shelf stable milk. And this is 96 cents a litre. Then we've got a very large pack of kitchen roll. We tend to get through about 
one of these every three months. You can blame my young dog for the necessity of this in case she ever vomits or wheeze or does anything else. We don't want to use our kitchen cloths. We will use disposable, disposable kitchen roll and 4 99 This has massively gone up. This was a euro cheaper the last time I bought it. Then we've got the very controversial pink toilet paper. Americans, calm yourselves. I know what you like. I know what you like. 153. And this is a compact, so it's the equivalent of 12 regular rolls. And that's why I buy it. The pink paper is always the cheapest. It's cheaper than the white. I think it's uh, an inferior quality paper, and that's why it's cheaper. Then we've got mayonnaise. This is a real example of how things have shot up. This went from 96 cents to 106. It's now shot up to 132. This is because of the price of eggs and it's shot up. And then we've got toothpaste. Toothpaste doesn't seem to have gone up at all. We have the Sensodyne at three euros 50. We have the generic sensitive to give that a go at 79. And the anti, anti tartar tartare at 70 cents. No matter where we live, we all find our way of shopping in our supermarkets, in our grocery stores, as affordably as we can according to where we live. So, we keep a very keen eye on the supermarkets advertising on their online prospectuses. We don't have them delivered through the door, we choose not to do that. So you can see I'm looking out for, so pork was on offer, I bought pork. Stewing beef was on offer, I bought stewing beef. Um, ground beef was on offer, I bought that. And you can see as while well, I'm also shopping between one supermarket and another according to what is the best price. Also, you can see I'm buying generic supermarket own brands and not brands unless the brand is on offer and it's a cheaper price. So, there we are of our shopping haul. We love your comments. What do you do in your locality to keep your grocery bill as low as you can? Thank you to everyone who watches go on, hit the like button, and it is an important thing, and we only ask of you of that, hit that like button. It really helps the algorithm, and it gets the videos out there. Massive thanks to all subscribers, old and new. Just leaves me to say on behalf of Mike and myself, we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.